Hi guys, welcome to my latest PM stamping video. Today I'm going to be talking about the envelope punch board that I purchased last month. I've made a couple of projects with this um, in true Paula fashion. I have absolutely well and truly started things that I can't finish because I don't have the correct cardstock for it. I have never bought 12 by 12 cardstock. It's not something that I've ever felt I needed to. I'm quite happy with A4 until it came to um, making gift boxes and I realised I needed 12 by 12s So I have made one um, with this. It's really super easy and as soon as I get the proper cardstock, I'll show you how to make one properly. I'm really excited about making these. I think they'll be fantastic for the craft fairs and so on and so forth. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. The very back piece of card that you get for your DSP sheets that are 12 by 12 I've used those so you can see like the instructions or the directions or, or whatever are just in here. Um, and I also ran out of tear and tape so that is currently on order as well. Um, but it would hold the envelopes and the cards pre-made. It could be decorated, it comes with a lid. You can actually make a window sheet lid as well which is really exciting. Um, it isn't glued down properly, it is made with um, not what I want it to. But I'm super excited to show you these once I get my 12x12 card stuff. But today I'm going to talk just about making an envelope. The brilliant thing about the envelope punch board is that all the instructions and everything you need are right on here. I don't have to remember anything, it's all here, everything that I need. Um, so it has all your directions, there's nine things and you're all done. Um, it's absolutely fantastic little board. I've tried making these in a few different sizes and it works perfect every time. Um, the majority of my cards are um, sized at four by five and a half. Some of them are slightly bigger, some of them are slightly smaller, but I'm going to make an envelope today for a four by five and a half card. So it tells me that my paper needs to be seven and seven eighths by seven and seven eighths. So for the um, purposes of this, um, I have just taken um, a, a, a page out of the Christmas catalogue that is no longer valid and we're going to use that just so I can show you. Um, but obviously you'll just use whatever cardstock or paper that you'd like. There's a little tool just tucked away. I love that. It's, it's so handy. Um, a bit like my scoring board. I always lose the tool um, if it's not back in its place. So I love that there's a place to put this at least. Um, and on my instructions, it'll tell me that I need to score at three and three eighths. You only ever need to worry about that once. And that's just along here. So you go to three and three eighths and you punch and you score. Now this is very thin paper so I don't need any effort at all. <laughs> if you are doing it with um, cardstock you'll need a little bit more of a, a push down but that's it. Okay so you turn it. Now that three and three eighths you can just forget about. All you need to do now is line up the score line that you've just made with the little knob here. It does say score guide. <laughs> um, so you just line it up and you punch and you score again. Like so. Turn it, line up your score line so it doesn't matter what it says on here anymore, we're just lining up the score line and you punch and you score like so. And you turn, line up your score line. So that three and three eighths, you only ever needed the first time. After that, you're just lining up and you're punching and you're scoring. You do that all round, all four sides. And that is it, you're all done with your board now. Put my tool away before I do lose it. And this is what you're left with. So you'll have two slightly wider sides and you'll have two shorter sides. Oh, also, sorry, I'll just bring this back really quickly. Um, I like to round the corners and there is on the back side of this, you have a, a corner rounder, a corner rounder. Uh, technically it's called a reverse punch, <laughs> corner rounder. -er. And I always do them. I just think they look really good. I actually use this just for normal projects as well. I know you can get a corner rounder <laughs> punch, but um, I haven't I haven't purchased that yet. Um, and I just use just use my punch board really if I ever need feel the need. Okay, so then it really is just a case of folding up your lines, all those score lines just need folding up like. So, oh, that one's gone a bit wayward. Back on track, back on track, no panic. There we go, back on track. Last one. There we go. 
so we would just glue down i do prefer tear and tape for this um like the strips i have run out it is on order so i am going to tombow it just for um the purposes of this but the tear and tape is absolutely what you should be using really so it just needs a little bit just along that edge there it's tombow so it'll take a couple of seconds and that's it Again on this side, and you'll see it just, I find, well, this is paper. On cardstock, it wouldn't be the same. But on paper, the Tombow does leave a little bit of a trail, I guess. Um, so I definitely would recommend the tear and tape. Now, it's totally up to you. I always leave this. I love this. But some people like to make that flat. You could cut that prior if you really, really wanted to. Um, and then you just need your envelope, like glue. Um, again, I just use the tear and tape and leave it on. And then it can just be peeled and ready to go. Um some people do the whole tucky anything and then i do think you would want to to flatten that out but that then if i had my tear and tape i'd have a strip up here and a strip up here and that is an envelope already and raring to go i would now just place a label on here um, a plain white label with the name and address on and these are really cute actually they're such a super little idea um for using your catalogs unless you like keeping them i always think well what am i going to do with them so envelopes are a really good thing um, you know, they, they can't buy anything that's on it, but I just think they look really cute. So this envelope would be all ready for a four by five and a half card now. When you do make these, it does leave one eighth of a, um, an inch little gap all the way around so that the card does fit in snugly. Um, and I just think they're so cute and they're so easy. I made some wedding invitations uh, and, the, and the lady didn't particularly want just plain envelopes. So I made them out of Whisper White. Um, cardstock just like this I did flatten the top bit um, so it looked a bit more mm, not perfect but a bit more like that so it was nice and flat uh, it was just made with um, whisper white cardstock um, but the thicker one and it just they they just felt so oh, I don't know classic maybe they were lovely you can get um, envelope paper you can just use your plain cardstocks um, just be very careful when you're doing your scoring not to split them slightly uh, don't press too hard um, and and yeah and definitely make sure you've got tear and tape I think that make make life so much easier um, the strips and you just strip them on and cut them to size strip them on and you um, for the, the licky bit you can get envelope glue but I just think leave it on and they can just peel it out and, um, and away you go I love them I just think they're so easy and making envelopes you can make a rake of these in like in no time at all but it is so quick and so easy and I would really recommend it um, I absolutely just adore them so making envelopes dead easy honestly I can't I can't shout um, enough about how easy it is to make envelopes um, and as soon as I got my 12 by 12 card socks I'll be showing you how to make the gift boxes if you have any questions just let me know um, if there's anything you'd like me to um, go through or any questions that you do have and um, just leave me a comment um, and I'll leave my website and my email on there for you as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.